Oh, you guys. Someone has this one. There we go, fish on. Oh, this feels like a nice fish. Oh. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here, and welcome back to another fishing adventure. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different because for the first time in over a month, I am not going to a fishing spot that I found on Google Earth. I know, it is shocking, but I am heading to a location that I've seen a ton of times. I've always wanted to fish there, but I've never given it a try. That changes today. Okay guys, I just scoped out the fishing spot, which is all the way over here from this bridge and it is looking very promising. So I'm gonna head back to the Jeep, get my stuff and uh, head out there. I finally made it to the fishing spot and this is looking awesome. My goal today is to catch either a big catfish, some sauger slash walleye, and I've heard that you can actually catch sturgeon here. That would be a dream catch for me, so I, I would be happy with any of those fish. I'm gonna get started and see what we can hook into. All right guys, I'm gonna start out with this little curly tail grub, bounce it along the bottom to see if there's any sauger or walleye chilling out. Here we go, first cast. I think I'm gonna rig up one of my catfishing rods. I brought a ton of tackle with me today. Six rods to be exact. I've got two catfishing rods in the water. Now I'm gonna alternate between my light rods to see if there's any predatory fish that wanna go for my lures. Here we go. Ooh, I'm getting bites. Getting bites, getting bites. All right, it's, uh, it's been a few hours. I've not had a single bite. This is not looking very well. I am currently on top of one of these pylons. I'm gonna drop a bait down and see if I can catch a fish. That was incredibly disappointing. I fished for three hours and did not get a single bite. And I had some really high hopes for that spot. So instead of sitting there for another two hours until it gets dark, I am making the decision to go ahead, switch up locations to hopefully catch some fish today. I am on foot on my way to spot number two, which is a location that you guys are very familiar with, but I have not had any luck out there lately. So I'm hoping that changes today and I'll be able to catch some fish. I have made it out to the spillway and there is a ton of water coming out of there. So I'm hoping that's a good thing. Fingers crossed. Let's get started. Oh, you guys, someone has this one. There we go, fish on. Oh, this feels like a nice fish. Oh, what is this? No, it's off. 
No. It looked like some sort of bass. Either a striped bass, a yellow bass, or a white bass. I'm not sure. All right, I forgot to bring a net, so this could get a little interesting. Toss my bait back out there. See if I can get another chance. Oh my gosh, I caught something. <laughs> Finally caught a fish, you guys. Looks like a tiny yellow bass, possibly. He went for a giant earthworm. That's crazy. See you later, buddy. That was not exactly the size of fish I was hoping to catch today, but that is a very important fish because that fish means I did not get skunked. But with that being said, I actually hooked into a decent sized fish about 30 minutes before I caught that little guy. So there are some decent fish out here beneath this spillway. Hopefully I'll be able to catch one before it gets too dark. Holy, okay guys, something's hitting it. Ooh, there we go, fish on. All right, this is a little bit nicer one. This is for sure a yellow bass. Go ahead and let this guy go. See you later, buddy. All right, guys, back to back fish. I'm gonna rig up one of these little gulp alive minnows on my ultralight. See if, uh, see if I can catch any fish using this method. All right, back to the earthworm. I did not have any takes on the gulp alive minnow, but they really seem to like this uh, bottom presentation with a worm. There we go, guys. This feels like a nice fish. Stay on, stay on. Yes! <laughs> not as big as I thought but I finally caught a catfish. Little channel catfish, awesome. See you later, buddy. Holy cow. No, 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 no. Before it gets too dark, I figured I'd show you guys how I'm catching those fish, and it is a very simple Carolina rig. I've got a barrel weight. I'm using a couple split shots to stop the weight. And then the hook I'm using is just a small, I think it's like a one-aught little hook. And I'm loading that up with some worms, casting it out there, and the fish really seem to like it. Holy cow. Something that's hit my big bait, guys. This one's got this bait. There we go, guys. Fish on. Yes. <laughs> Another little catfish. Awesome. See you later, buddy. Fish on. It is a tiny, tiny channel catfish. Holy smokes. How did I even hook this guy? See you later, buddy. Today was a very interesting day of fishing and that is putting it nicely because I had some really high hopes for that first location. I've been wanting to fish that spot for a couple years now. So of course, the first time I go there, I get skunked. But I am glad that I came back to this spillway that I have not had much luck at lately and I was able to turn the day around. So I still had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one. Oh, oh jeez. Holy crap, you guys. Something just about pulled my pole in the water.
Oh, <laughs> 